Snestruck. It wasn't very difficult to come up with a game premise back in the Super Nintendo's heyday. Just have some ninjas, put revenge in the title, and bam, you've got a game. Shien's Revenge, or Shien the Blade Chaser as it's known in Japan, stars Shien and Asuka, his longtime, uh, ninja partner, I guess. She is kidnapped by... The Undertaker?! No, not that Undertaker, unfortunately, so Shien's gotta get her back. Pretty basic stuff. Where Shien's revenge stands out is with, well, just about everything. You play from a first-person perspective as the background automatically scrolls by and enemies pop up. You aim your cursor, or more accurately, your disembodied floating hand with the D-pad to either throw shurikens at enemies in the distance or slash enemies up close with the kunai dagger. The closest comparison to something like this is probably Terminator 2, the arcade game, just with a ninja motif. It's interesting gameplay because you really have to balance your focus between three different things, enemies up close, enemies far away, and projectiles coming at you. Your dagger only works with enemies up close, and you can only defeat distant enemies with stars, so quickly flipping between the two attacks can be tricky, not to mention deflecting stuff coming at you, so you can see how tough this game can get. It's an interesting idea to work defense into a game like this. Normally with these kinds of games like Operation Wolf or Cabal or Terminator 2, it's shoot anything that moves, but here, if you take that approach, you'll die within two minutes. You have to block stuff. You also get power-ups like a rapid-fire star, and clear all attacks, and there's six long levels here, and seven boss fights complete with a password system. The boss fights are pretty interesting, because the game transitions into this one-on-one -on -one mode that evidently takes place on the outer dimensional astral plane, I guess? It's this bizarre 3D effect that scales the boss sprite to either attack you or to dodge your attack. I can't say I've seen too much else like this in any other 16-bit game. We've got lots of dialogue once you defeat the boss as well, to move the story along. So, there are a lot of pluses and minuses with a game like this. One minus is that it's a bit tiresome to have to aim and essentially just point and click at everything using the D-pad. But one plus is that this game is compatible with the Super Nintendo mouse, and that makes a big difference. I've read in a couple different places that this one is also compatible with light guns, including the Super Scope, but I can't confirm that since there's not a good scan of the back of the box or the manual out there that I can see. But if you play this one, I highly recommend you do so with the mouse. It makes a big difference. Another plus is that this game was actually designed by prolific manga and anime artist Go Nagai, a guy who's done everything from create series like Devilman, to spearheading stuff like the super robot genre, to even creating pro wrestler gimmicks like Ushin Thunder Liger and the original Big Van Vader. This is the first video game he ever designed, and yeah, based on some of these boss designs, you can tell this game was made by a manga artist. It's great looking. However, another minus I gotta point out is that this game just drags on and on. Sure, the game is somewhat inventive, but certain levels and boss fights seem to go on forever. This is one of those games where you either find yourself getting into a zone, or just zoning out, out of boredom. The visuals and music do a fine job of carrying the experience, and the story is okay, I guess, but the gameplay just gets repetitive. It takes well over an hour to play through this one, and the boss fights can really get tough. Either way, Shien's Revenge is worth playing today because there aren't many other 16-bit home console games that tried something like this, and it's always interesting to try and play an action-oriented game with the mouse, you know, other than that fly-swatting game in Mario Paint. The gameplay here reminds me of playing a shoot 'em up where you just kind of unfocus your eyes and get into a zone switching between attacks and memorizing enemy patterns, and the boss fights can be pretty interesting. Shien's Revenge is certainly well made and worth checking out, but I don't blame you if you get bored with this sort of thing because it's kind of a one-trick pony. Sure, it's one trick is pretty cool, but it can get old after a while. So yeah, if you play this one, make sure it's with the Super Nintendo mouse.